the time of day tab allows you to schedule when you would like your alerts to run. By default, an alert is always enabled, so it's running 24 seven. Or you can choose when you want the alert to run. So I will click on specify time of day, then click the add schedule button. In the pop-up dialog, you can add a name to your schedule, but it's not mandatory. Next, choose whether to include or exclude blocks of time and choose the frequency, either daily, weekly, or monthly. You can add multiple time periods to the same schedule as long as the time periods are all the same type. In other words, the time periods would all have to be inclusions or they would all have to be exclusions. And they would all have to be running on the same frequency, either daily, weekly, or monthly. If they aren't, then you would need to add the time periods into separate schedules. For instance, suppose I need my alert to run only during regular business hours, excluding lunchtime, and every Thursday night from 7 to 10 p.m., but never on New Year's Day. All right, let's start with my regular business hours. So I would choose to enable the alert daily and from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Now, I need to exclude lunchtime. I can't choose to disable a block of time in the same schedule, so there are two ways to handle my lunchtime exclusion. I can either split my business day into two blocks in my current schedule, or I could create a second schedule and choose to disable the alert during lunchtime. I'm going to split my workday, so I'll schedule my first block of time from 8 a.m. to noon, and add a second time period from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Now for this particular schedule, it would be just as easy to have this alert run only during off business hours. I would just choose to disable during this time period rather than enable. But I want enable, so I'll click on add schedule. Now I need to add my Thursday nights. So I'll add a new schedule, and this will also be an enable time block, but my frequency will now be weekly, every Thursday from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. And I'll go ahead and name this schedule Thursday nights and click add schedule. And now to exclude New Year's. So add schedule again. I'll call this schedule exclude New Year's. Now this time I'm going to disable during the time period and I'll set the frequency to monthly. I'll choose January, the first day of the month, and this will be an all day event. Now, before I click Add Schedule, notice you can also choose to have your schedule start or end on particular dates and times. Now I can see all my schedules. If I hover over the preview icon, I can see the details of what time blocks the schedule covers. And of course, I can edit, copy, or delete the schedules. So the Time of Day tab gives you tremendous control over scheduling your alerts.